Hi, this is Andrew from DPS again and welcome back. Today I have a very important topic that I hear from a lot of people about. It's propane monitoring. How do I track what's going on in my tanks? How do I know when I need to send a refuel truck? Just how do I manage that tank level so my generators always have a good supply of fuel? So the basics inherent here are we have some kind of a remote site, one kind or another. Could be a telecom tower of some kind. Something's going on out there. And we have a backup generator tank of usually either diesel or in this case we're going to go with propane. So we'll write LPG there. So obviously the standard is to have a simple needle gauge that tells you approximately how much fuel you got left. And, and that's helpful, that's good. And this operates on the strength of a float. It's inside the tank and it's going to spin around and it actually links to a magnet which manipulates that needle. So that's how you're able to get a reading, but it's no good if you have to drive out to that site all the time. You might have hundreds of these. So what do you do? Well, one of the simplest things that we like to do is to keep the existing float, don't empty your tank, just pop that gauge off of that brass holder that's there. And you put in a new one that it has the same basic properties. You can view it if you're there at the site, it's a needle gauge, but it also has some wires. And what this is expecting is a plus five volt input, and then it's gonna feed you back somewhere between zero to five volts. And what that means is 0% tank level to 100% tank level. So how do you use this? Well, you need some kind of a box that's going to track that level and report it back to you. So we would call this an RTU. This is like the Net Guardians that DPS makes if you're familiar with our product line. But the general term is RTU, or remote telemetry unit, the remote terminal unit sometimes. So what's going to happen is this is what we call an analog input. You're going to supply power to it, and then it's going to feed you back. You're going to measure that voltage. And the RTU should be smart enough to say, oh, okay, three volts, that must be 60% or whatever the reading is. So it's going to be capturing this data, and it's going to go back across your network. And what happens then? Well, you might decide, I'd love to get an email when things are getting low. So you could do that. You could also go to your SNMP manager, if that's what you want to do, as part of a broader monitoring scheme. So this is the basics of how you're going to collect this. This is just an incredibly brief overview. There are many things. One of the most common I see is, I don't want to have to dig a trench between my site and the tank, because this RTU is housed inside the site building here. So I don't want to do that. Or maybe I have a safety rule that says, I need to have an air gap because of lightning strikes. I can't have any kind of copper wire connecting the tank and the possible lightning strike to the tower. So we see a lot of wireless, and we do have an alternative solution to do that. So if this video was helpful for you, please click the like button, subscribe to our channel so you can get more videos like this one. Give us a call and we can talk about your propane monitoring application. And until next time, I wish you excellent network reliability.